Hey guys, we are multiplying and dividing fractions. Now, in the previous video, we talked about adding and subtracting fractions, and I reminded you that you can only add or subtract fractions if they have the same denominator. And if they didn't have the same denominator, we had to make them have the same denominator. The case is not the same for multiplying and dividing fractions. So you can multiply and divide any fractions you want at any given time, no matter what the numerator or denominators are. All you simply do is multiply straight across. That's it. So when I look at this first one, it says five, over, five halves times one half. So five over two times one over two. All I simply do is multiply across my numerators and multiply across my denominators. Five times one is five, two times two is four, and that's my answer, five fourths. I can't simplify that answer. I'm always going to check to see if I can simplify before going further, but that is absolutely it. Next one, one third times one third. Well, one times one is one. Three times three is nine, and so my answer is just simply one over nine. Next one, one fourth times two fourths. One uh, times two is two. Four times four is 16. Now we can simplify two sixteenths. They're both divisible by two, and that would end up giving us one eighth. Next one, negative two fifths times three fifths. So I'm gonna treat that negative symbol there I'm going to pretend like it's really just to the two. That's what I tend to tell my students to do. When you see a negative fraction, send that negative to the numerator and just leave it there. Don't put it to both. You can't use it twice because a negative divided by a negative would then make it a positive. So when I look at that, I see negative two times three is negative six. Five times five is 25. And I get my answer of negative six twenty-fifths. Three six times negative five six. So again, I treat the negative like it's really a negative five. Three times negative five is negative 15. Six times six is 36. That's the answer. Next one, negative one fourth times negative eight seven. So first of all, a negative times a negative is a positive. One times eight is eight. Four times seven is 28. Can I simplify this? Yes, by two, bigger, four, yeah, so let's simplify those both by four. We end up getting negative two sevenths. Now, the next three, we can see that we have a whole number or a, an integer multiplied by a fraction. So what I want you to remember is that four is really like four over one, or negative three is really negative three over one, or negative two is really negative two over one. You can always put one in the denominator. And so really this four is just getting multiplied by the five, the numerator. Because if I imagine a fraction here with a one underneath, I would do four times five is 20, and I would have 20 over eight, okay? Once I have that, then I can simplify it. Of course, the both divisible by four, and I would end up getting five halves. Same thing for the next one. Negative three times two would give me negative six. Negative six divided by three would give me negative two. Now, the other way to think about this is that when you're multiplying by an integer and that integer is the same number that's in the denominator, those numbers will actually cross simplify each other out. And notice then you're just left with the negative and the two, the numerator. Next one, negative two times four ninths, negative two times four is negative eight. So it'd be negative eight ninths. And now the last six, dividing fractions. So multiplying, we multiply straight across. But when we divide fractions, we multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction. Okay, let me read that again. When we divide fractions, we multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal. Reciprocal means we take our fraction, we flip it upside down. The numerator and denominator switch spots. We take the first fraction, we multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction, and then we just multiply. So this problem here, one half divided by five fourths, I would rewrite that problem as one half, the first fraction, multiplied by the reciprocal of five fourths. What's the reciprocal of five fourths? Four fifths. And so now that problem looks like this, one half times four fifths. I multiply straight across, one times four is four, two times five is 10. Can we simplify four tenths? Absolutely, and we would get two fifths. Next one, two ninths divided by one third. We take the first fraction and we multiply it by the reciprocal of the second fraction. The reciprocal of one third, if you took one third and you did the reciprocal, you'd get three over one, which is really just three. Two ninths times three over one, ends up getting us six ninths, and six ninths can be simplified by three, and our final result is two thirds. 
Next one, one fourth times two fifths, I'm sorry, divided by two fifths. We multiply the first fraction, one fourth, by the reciprocal of the second fraction. The reciprocal of two fifths would be five halves. We multiply straight across, one times five is five, four times two is eight. So our answer is five eighths. Negative two thirds divided by one fifth. We multiply the first fraction by the reciprocal of the second fraction. The reciprocal of one fifth would be five over one. I would then multiply straight across. Two times five is 10, three times one is three, and we notice the first fraction is negative, so our answer would be negative 10 thirds. Next, three sixths divided by negative five fourths. We multiply three sixths times the reciprocal of negative five fourths would be negative four fifths. Again, leave that negative there, just literally the reciprocal means you just reverse, you just switch the order of the numerator and denominator. Multiply straight across, three times four is 12, six times five is 30, so I have negative 12 thirtieths. We can simplify both of those numbers by six, and then we end up with negative two fifths. And the last one, negative one half divided by negative eight sevenths. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. This would end up being one half, or negative one half times negative seven eighths. A negative times a negative is also a positive. I could have gotten rid of those negatives right away and multiply straight across and my end result is 7 sixteenths. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped.